My name is V, and I'm the fastest man alive. Time is the force that drives us forward. We are unable to stop it or slow it down. That inexorable pull into the next second draws even the strongest of us. But today, I have learned how to harness time with this amazing new... Well, looks like I screwed that up. From now on, for some reason, time keeps getting faster and faster. Okay, enough pros. This problem is really to just set the stage for today's challenge. Every time I kill or incapacitate an enemy, time speeds up. Can I beat Cyberpunk 2077 before time spirals out of control? Now the rules for this challenge are fairly simple. As always, we are playing on very hard, and we'll be shooting for the rogue ending this time, because that's the one we haven't done, and I don't think the secret ending will be possible. As for the mod, another concoction by yours truly. This will increase the flow of time by 0.003 every time I kill someone. Doesn't sound like a lot, but as you can see from the footage, uh, it, it got pretty crazy. All of this playthrough was recorded live, so if you want to go back and watch the full thing, I've included it in the description. For this adventure, we return to Eli Vance. He still is our guinea pig for some of these mods, after all. Makes sense given his line of work, not the first time he's experienced something like this. So originally, I thought it might be a good idea to go for a Sendevastan build, to combat the effects of the mod. But it turned out later on that the effects that slow time actually make things harder. See, it slows down time for the player, but not the enemies, so that kind of got scrapped about halfway through. Also, I thought a pistol build would be a good idea, but boy was I wrong. See, turns out that when time gets faster, weapon sway and recoil happen so fast that you cannot adjust for them most of the time. So you end up returning to your good old friend Spray and Pray. So the beginning is pretty uneventful. I do the standard route for leveling and money grubbing. Oh, nice. It's got a heart on it. Can't wait to shoot people in the face with this. Plus, this helps us get a bit faster. Now, you might say, Jackie XC, why are you doing this? You seem to be making it a lot harder on yourself by killing so many people. Now, you might be right, but I'm also making this video interesting. See, would you rather have really normal Adam Smasher fight or so fast you can't possibly shoot fight? Anyway, enough justifications. Things really start to speed up here, and it takes Jackie and I a little bit of time to slam on the brakes. Luckily, Royce and the rest of Maelstrom make a good substitute brake pad. Oh, Jesus, are you okay? Is your neck okay? So we mop them up and go to meet Evelyn for a quick chat. And I mean quick. You know, having the speed mod certainly makes it easy to power through the game. I could have really used this to speed up these really boring brain dance segments that make me want to... With all the prep done, it's time for the big heist. Time to break Johnny out of his 10 millimeters of silicon. We watch as things quickly turn into a disaster between the Arasakas, and then we make our speedy escape. And no, I'm not sorry for all the speed puns that will be in here. Y you better like them, or you're gonna have to text the video right now. Hey, Tom! I see you moving towards the X button. I'm watching you. Anyway, <laughs> back onto the video. It's once again time for the light of our lives to leave us as fast as he possibly could. Also our life. That was pretty quick too. Blech. Fortunately for us, Rocker Boys know how to do some quick surgery. Well, at least their nanobot groupies do. After watching Johnny rampage through the past, it's quickly time to return to the present. Given how fast our speed is increasing, driving sections with this mod are getting quite tricky. These sections are based on a timer, so if you go too far forward in them, you just straight up die. And since we're going really fast, we get up to that threshold much quicker than normal. I'm gonna say quick too many times, aren't I? Damn it. But Takamura and I are able to beat back this without much problem. Johnny isn't very gentle on our first interaction. He's a little too rough on us. Ow! So we're nursing a headache as we race into Act 2. We now need to locate someone to help us with our time issues. So first up, the rescue of Miss Parker once more. One nice thing I've seen with this mod is that it really speeds up leveling, since you're doing things fast. So honestly, from here on out, we're really just going to do the main story. Race off to clouds. We chat up the workers, and then I take a quick deforestation to their boss. His, his name's Woodman. G get it? Okay, I'll leave. Well, since he's not very talkative anymore, we hack his computer and locate a ripper dock he sold Evelyn to. Judy and I give him a swift grilling, 
and he gives us what we need to locate Evelyn. Armed with the knowledge of some pizza boxes and a patch, we find the scav hideout where she's being kept. I try to stealth my way in, but the speed gets the better of me, and I crash into one of the guards, and he sounds the alarm. <laughs> that was not what I meant to do! <laughs> we fight our way through the hideout. Things are starting to get pretty speedy at this point. Just one more for the road, Judy, real quick. Oh yeah. I'm trying to tiptoe around killing people near the end, and we manage to sneak in and grab Evelyn. Take her as fast as possible. Good job, Judy. Her memories tell us that our next lead is the Voodoo Boys. So while we wait for an invitation to see them, it's on to completing the Pan Am section. It's time to sonic our way all the way downtown. <laughs> well, our speed's already out of control, and the Pan Am section has quite a lot of killing. So things might go pretty badly after this. First, we run into a bit of trouble securing Pan Am's car. Holy shit. Ah! And then it's on to the infamous Nash's Den. You know I gotta bring the den up. It's a staple of these runs now. I know I can skip it, but I can't leave Pan Am high and dry. Oh, oh Jesus. Yes. It's a struggle, but eventually I managed to exterminate their nest. Now for the Hellman section. This is rather straightforward. Pan Am and I shoot down the AV pretty quickly. Holy shit, that's a fast missile. We then successfully rescue Saul and rush over to the gas station where they're keeping Hellman. Oh God. I decide the best course of action is probably not to kill people and just to run straight in because you know, we're pretty fast at this point. Uh, I like, can't mantle anymore. Of course, so are all the enemies. Holy shit. Open. Oh, thank you. Oh god, no. There we go. There we go. It wasn't the best strategy, but eventually was able to rush in and secure Helmet. So with these sections complete, it's time to put the pieces in place for both the ending we want and for Takamura. Takamura and I get everything set for the parade where we will nab Hanako. I make a mad dash into an Arasaka warehouse where her float is kept and I upload a virus. Oh, oh. Uh. I'm almost there, Takabora. Try to install this virus. Right, reinstall it real quick. I jet out of there before too many guards show up. Time has gotten so out of whack that things are getting really hard to control, and it takes me a few attempts without bumping into every wall. Uh, uh, this this way. This is how I came in. Oh. Look, it's, he's still here. There's just nobody in the car. Oh, now the car's gone. <laughs> Parade day is now upon us, and it's time to navigate the catwalks of Upper Japan Town. <laughs> All right, I think he's dead. I don't know, I, I blinked. Don't worry, I'm sure we can just run through this and not have any catwalks fall underneath us. Oh, I forgot. I'm a little too fast to jump these, huh? Well, takes a few attempts, but we get over them. Oh, there we go. Just barely. The snipers don't prove too much of a challenge, although we're getting to the point where enemies have a high chance of just killing us because we have no time to react. Can I get up? Hello? Oh, there's no way to get back up there. Can I just... Oh, you've got to be kidding me. No, I was out of... Was I out of meds? Oh, convenient. Get in the elevator. Whatever's killing me, run. Oda once again shows up bright-eyed and bushy-tailed, ready to kick our asses, and uh, boy, howdy does he. 
Oh, it's not going to be fast because, oh no, he's going to slow me down with the slow-mo. You see, remember when I mentioned the mistake of thinking the Sendevastan was ouchie, a good ouchie, idea? Ouchie, ouchie. Well, I accidentally equipped the Synaptic Accelerator, which slows down time when you get detected. So, while we are normal speed, Oda is fast, and Oda kick butt, so Oda kill. Oh, I'm back to being fast again. I guess. Eventually, we get our speed back, and then we can take down Oda. Oh, cool. Slow down. I don't have much ammo left. All right, about ammo. Do I have any melee weapons? Oops, killed him by accident. And we totally don't kill him. Definitely didn't kill him. Hey, isn't that convenient? Pretend like you didn't see that. Anyways, we go to find Takamura and talk to Hanako. This doesn't go well because she shrugs us off quickly and her guard show. Oh my god, uh. <laughs> we save Takamura after a legendary battle with Arasaka soldiers, and Hanako agrees to help us once more. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Oh, right, Alt and the Voodoo Boys. Well, there is a reason I forgot. This section was so fast. It ended before it really even started. We sprint through the GIM, where we have a bit of trouble with a large woman. Yeah, there it goes. Ugh. Oh, there we go, dead. Oh god. There we go. Whew. We give Netwatch no time to talk, and I blast him in the face like it's NBD. Listen pal, I got no time for this. I'm speedy as hell. Then we fast forward through Johnny's past, and we meet Alt. And because I'm a coward, and I also don't want to go any faster, I let the Voodoo Boys live. Okay, footnote over, back to the main story. Now it's on to getting everything ready for the Rogue ending. This means two things, trying to find Smasher and smooch time at the movies. First, Johnny goes on a whirlwind bender and Rogue learns the truth about him and me. That's right, we're bros and we love each other, platonically. We then sneak onto Smasher's boat and secure Johnny's gun and car. Also, we don't find the thing we came for. Smasher eludes us once more, but the rewards are quite good. We take Rogue on a quick date, oh, and it's time to initiate the ending. Now, before we do that, the viewers of the live stream wanted to see what Claire's quest line would look like. So we strap in and start racing. Oh, this is so hard to control. Oh shit. God damn it. <laughs> Rolled over so quickly. Oh god. Freaking sandstorm. <laughs> it, it goes about as well as you would expect. It's already hard to drive with mouse and keyboard in this game, and it makes it extra hard. We flunk out and crawl back to Embers to see Hanako. Unfortunately, she doesn't buy us dinner, though it wouldn't take us very long to eat it. So we quickly just pass out. We awake at Vix and Misty gives us the quick pep talk before I give Johnny the reins. Let's do this, my buddy. Rogue's finale has us crashing into Arasaka Tower and jet booting down to the bottom floor. The crashing goes fine, but it takes me a bit to navigate the jungles in Arasaka Tower. I can't get up here. Oh, Jesus. I'm trying to get up there. Hold on, Rogue. <laughs> oh my god. I basically can't jump now at this point. Uh. Once I manage to hack a path to the elevator, we then jump down to the bottom floor. Well, it takes a few attempts because we're going so fast the boots don't activate in time. From there, we take the elevator down and upload alt. She adds a few ticks to our timer by nuking all the enemies around us. Oh no, no, now 
Oh, it's gonna start counting. <laughs> Hurry! Oh no! <laughs> yup. It's then on to Adam the Smash Johnson, who proves pretty tough given how fast he is. I use Wayland to distract Adam while I unload into him. I ran out of ammo a couple times since we pretty much use it all immediately. So that, uh, it counts. Oh god, I'm out of it. I'm out of ammo. Well, I have a lot of machine gun ammo, which is good at least. Oh god. Never mind. Hey, Adam. He's dead. Eventually, though, we prevail and sink deep into the waters of Makoshi. So that's it. Cyberpunk 2077 beaten with every kill increasing time. We ended with time being 3.362 times faster than normal, which was quite challenging. This run was actually harder than I thought it would be because I was unaware of what this would do to weapons. But ultimately, I had a fun time doing this challenge. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. It took me quite a bit to get it all working. I have provided a link to the mod files in the description, so check it out if you want to try it yourself. Anyway, I need to sort out some issues with this time dilation device, so I will see you guys next time.